Sketches of life. Miniature golf date. The scene is a miniature golf course in the summertime, in the early evening. A man and a woman in their 20s are on a mini golf date. Kate is a tall, handsome woman dressed in summer casual clothing. Mark is a few inches shorter than her, and he is dressed in a full-blown golfing outfit. White shoes, golfing pants, collared shirt, and even a golf hat. Kate is clearly out of his league, but he is trying very hard. They've reached the last few holes. Catherine, it was very creative of you to recommend miniature golf. I haven't been miniature golfing in years. I like it as a third date. You didn't need to dress up, though. On the contrary, Catherine, I felt enormously gratified at the opportunity. It's part of why I love dating so much. The woman and the occasion are always worth the effort. I have a curiosity, though. What's so special about miniature golfing? Perhaps it isn't just that you love miniature golfing, but that you feel that miniature golfing will tell you something about me. Isn't that the point of every date? Kate asks. I used to golf in a few miniature golf tournaments as a kid, and I golfed on the high school golfing team. I still like to play golf, but it would seem a little strange for us to play 18 holes of the real thing on a third date. Plus, it's really hard to find mini golf courses these days. I was presently surprised to hear that this one was close by. But what psychoanalysis of me, Catherine, as a potential long-term mate, have you discerned from playing against me in a competitive game of miniature golf thus far? Oh, I wasn't psychoanalyzing you, and I didn't think this was a competitive game. I thought we were just goofing around, getting, getting to know each other. Am I not enough of a worthy adversary of yours to merit a competitive game? No, it's not that. It's not that at all. I just wanted to focus on the date, on getting to know you. If there's something more at stake, that's different. But this is just a third date. Catherine... Perhaps everything is at stake. As you say, this is our third date. But that means it's still one of our most important dates. We have a lot at stake here. Yes, but the outcome of this mini golf game won't have any bearing on whether we go on a fourth date. But Catherine, how can you be so certain? Please, stop saying my name like that. Perhaps I've already decided whether I want to let you take me on a fourth date. But competition tends to bring out the worst in people. Perhaps once you've seen me engaged in stiff competition with you, you'll think better of seeing me again. You might see the real me, and I might see the real you, and either one of us could find it very distasteful. That is a clear risk. What makes you think I've made up my mind in favor of seeing you again? <laughs> Don't be so egregiously humorous, Catherine. It's unbecoming of you. Why do you speak so formally? Well, I've always believed in being a gentleman when escorting a woman on a date, especially a beautiful woman like yourself. But you're a bartender, right? I do serve wine and spirits, but that's no reason for speaking like a slob or a doofus. But you're trying a little too hard to impress me. I apologize. Perhaps you aren't the woman I thought you were. The Catherine I've come to know thus far is a regal and enchanting woman, and you are worth the effort. So trying hard seems like the only thing to do. Look, I thought your tone was kind of interesting at first, but it's starting to feel strange. It's starting to feel really strange. You can drop the act if you want. In fact, I would actually prefer it if you drop the act. I tell you what. We have three miniature golf holes left to play. We shall compete 
to decide who will decide on whether we have a fourth date or not. If I have a better miniature golf score than you on these last three holes, I will decide whether we meet again. If you win, you can decide. I'll take you up on that. But what if we tie? Have you thought about that? If the score is a draw, I will throw myself at your mercy. As a man, I accept that I must compete for your time and I must compete even harder to be your boyfriend. Thus, I accept that I must compete to the fullest for you and should only deserve to decide our fate if I am truly a winner on this miniature golf course today. Merely avoiding defeat is not good enough to entitle me to decide on our fate as a couple. Kate rolls her eyes. Okay, let's just get this over with. Mark tees off on 16 and gets a hole in one. He turns and smiles to Kate after it goes in. Kate sets her ball down and strains to focus. Her first shot misses by a few inches. On 17, the same thing happens. Mark aces it, and Kate misses and has to two-putt. They are set up for the final hole. Kate goes first and she misses. All right, three strokes ahead. I guess it's just not my day. Mark tees it up and gets his third straight hole in one. That must be the luckiest three holes of golf you've ever played. You couldn't putt to save your life until a date was on the line. You know, I have to confess, I did suggest mini golf as a third date to see if you could roll with it or if you'd think you were too important for playing a kid's game. I was testing you a little bit, but you respected it and you deserve my compliments. I suspected you may have been testing me and not just psychoanalyzing me, as you say happens on every date. But, as a woman of my word, I will be happy to see you for a fourth date. So when do you want to meet again? Kate asks. Unfortunately, that wasn't part of our agreement. The winner gets to decide whether we go on a fourth date, and I'm just not sure yet. You're not sure? But you've been desperate to get with me since we met. But I'm not sure you're the same woman I met for the first time last week. This game of miniature golf and all of its attendant baggage has not brought out a flattering portrait of Catherine Dennison. Of me? You're lucky I even agreed to meet you in the first place, let alone see you two more times. I never date guys shorter than me. One other thing. You don't seem to handle disappointment very well. That's an important component for being my girlfriend. Somehow I'm not surprised, Kate says. And I have dignity and manners. I expect the same from my girlfriend. Character isn't just a word for me. I didn't mean... You've said what you've said, Mark says, cutting her off. I'm taking everything into consideration, and we'll need a couple days to think about it. Until then, I'm afraid I can't kiss you goodnight. Kiss me? I wasn't... Yeah, I would have expected to, Mark says, interrupting. But I have to wait. Huh? Mark just extends his hand for a handshake. Kate extends her hand slowly, a little confused. He takes her hand and shakes it. She just stares at her hand in his. I just need some time to think about it. That's all. Good night, Catherine. Mark walks off. Fade out. Recorded June 1st, 2013.